Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction, the first one in the new house. I'm still gonna be kind of trying to figure out where to put my camera down and what background to use, so this probably won't be it for the rest of the series. But yeah, today I am going to be doing a beauty beacon that is a very personal beauty beacon of mine, and it is Kelly Kapowski. So Kelly Kapowski is one of the main characters in the uh, late 80s and early 90s TV show Saved by the Bell and this show for some reason ran in the Netherlands pretty much all throughout the 90s and I believe even in the early zeros. So Kelly Kapowski was played by Tiffany Amber Thiessen and I remember as a child that all I wanted out of growing up was to look like Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> She was absolute beauty and style goals to me, um, as the kids say nowadays, so yes. I'm kind of slightly living a dream today by recreating her look. I am absolutely sure I'm not the only one who had Kelly Kapowski as an early childhood kind of beauty beacon. Safe by the Bell was a show that was set in a high school and Kelly was kind of the popular cheerleader type. She was kind of like your typical American dream girl. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try and recreate her makeup and her very iconic hairstyle today. So let's start with the makeup first. And to begin, I'm going to apply a mattifying base primer all over my face. And when that is on, I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation just to even out my skin tone everywhere. And when that is all blended out, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer on my dark circles just underneath my eyes and blend that out as well. Alright, so next step is to powder everything off using a translucent powder to mattify the face even more and make sure all this stays on, stays on all day, and doesn't move around. And then it is time to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to use this very neutral colored eyeshadow palette to do my eyes today. And I'm first going to choose this color that is very similar to my natural skin color um, on the skin around my eyes and use this as a base from my eyelashes all the way up to my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take a slightly darker eyeshadow and a blending brush and I'm going to apply this in my crease to just deepen it up a little bit. So we're going for a little bit of definition but still a pretty natural look. So I'm also going to take this color and apply this underneath my eye, so on my lower lash line, just very lightly and I'm going to make sure to blend it out really well. But we do want a little bit of color and definition there as well. So then I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush and just use some black eyeshadow to create a little bit of an eyeliner on my top lash line. So I'm just going to pat this along my lash line and that is everything. Then I'm going to finish off the eyes with a tiny little amount of mascara on my top lashes only. And then it's already time to move on to the eyebrows. So Kelly has very natural, slightly bushy eyebrows, but definitely well groomed. So I'm going to take a tinted brow gel and just fill in my eyebrows with this, comb them into place nicely. So they're not overdefined, but they're definitely kind of pronounced. All right, so for the lips, I am going to take this pinky lipstick that is uh, kind of like a darker neutral, I would say, and definitely has a little bit of shine. And I'm going to apply this on my lips, just following my natural lip line, no overdrawing in this time period. And then the last step is to apply a little bit of blush and you definitely want to go for a bright blush. This was the late 80s, early 90s. So yeah, definitely a bright blusher. Um, preferably something with a slightly purplish undertone if you have anything like that. And I'm going to apply that on my cheeks quite generously. And there's your makeup look already done. So moving on to the iconic Kelly Kapowski hairstyle. So obviously I want to go for the big kind of luminous blowout type of thing. So to start, I'm going to spray my hair with a little bit of heat protector because I am going to be using the blow dryer later on. And when all of my hair has been sprayed down, I'm going to take this volumizing mousse. And this is one that actually comes out as a spray and only then kind of mousseifies. So I'm gonna apply that all over my hair. And I'm gonna use a lot because I really need that volume. And when I've applied it all over my roots, I am going to take my blow dryer and I'm actually going to flip my hair forward so that I am upside down and I'm going to blow dry my hair upside down. And this is a great way to get a lot of volume really easily without too much effort. So I'm just going to keep blow drying until everything is nice and dry. And then I'm going to take my brush and just brush through my hair to kind of separate that mousse, make sure it doesn't look clumpy and sticky and just keep blow drying until it's all good. And then when I come back up, it should look something like this. So the next step is to just split the hair, separate it into two halves, and make sure you have a nice deep parting going on 
so that there's a lot of that volume just kind of falling over one side of the face. So then for even more volume, I am going to do a little bit of backcombing. So I'm going to take my teasing brush here and just take small sections of hair and backcomb them so that they're really big. But I'm going to make sure to leave the top smooth so that it doesn't show as kind of like a backcomb mess, but it just looks like very voluminous smooth hair. Then the next step is to spray this again very generously with hairspray to make sure this lasts. And the very last thing I'm going to do is to kind of pull out my bangs a little bit so that they are kind of framing my face or kind of coming over my forehead. Obviously I'm not wearing those typical 80s bangs but I can still kind of fake the look with the bangs that I do have so I'm going to try and do that by kind of pulling them down and combing the rest of the hair over. And then just finish it off with even more hairspray and there's your Kelly Kapowski hair all done. So that is the finished look now, of course, for the outfit. There are so many photos, but definitely do wear some hoop earrings. Probably kind of like a crop top and mom jeans. <laughs> That's kind of the standard look, I would say. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for how to achieve the iconic look of Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more Beauty Beacons and Beauty Beacons of Fictions videos. If you have any requests for historical beauty icons, real or fictional, that you would like me to recreate the looks of them, please leave them down in the comments below. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box. Thank you so much. I will have another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you a lot for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!